What is poppin' everybody? My name is Justin Woodward from The Mix, the Media Indie Exchange, uh, and I am with my co-host. Alex Wilmer from, uh, yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so uh, we are at, a, at, this is gonna be a little bit ad hoc. We're trying to figure out this, this whole situation, but we're on stage. Uh, I represent a, a game studio called The Mix Games and Interrobang Entertainment. We make independent video games, and we also help other independent video game developers reach an audience, reach funding, uh, get investors, publishers, that kind of thing. So we have a booth over there. We have like 20 games, everything from Jay and Silent Bob, Rugrats. Uh, we have a lot of awesome independent games, Splash. Um, so please check those out. But what we are going to do right now is we're just going to have interviews uh, with the developers and showcase their games live on stage so you guys could check them out. Hopefully you could wish list them, purchase them, talk to the developers afterwards. And I think we are going to get started. But first, let's introduce our first guest. We got Gabe here. Hey everyone, my name is Gabe Zuli. Uh, I'm with Maximum Entertainment, specifically Maximum Games and Modus, and we're here representing uh, Just for Games and Splash, Quadroids, and How to Escape, down where Justin said, over by the mix section. Cool, cool. So tell us a little bit about Splash. So Splash is a 2D samurai fighting game where the unique selling point is that it's a one-hit kill for every round. Um, so the idea is that it's really fast-paced, really intense, lots of mind games, and the best player wins. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. If you like Samurai Showdown or uh, Soul Calibur, it kind of has that vibe along with like Third Strike if you guys are into to fighting games. But we're going to let you take on Alex uh, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Maybe you could switch and he could go right there. Switch chairs real quick. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. Roll that one up. We could get started. Oh, good. I'm going to sit in the middle and ask questions. Uh, about Splash and, and Alex jump in. I'm I, supposed uh, to sit over here, but I think I'm going to wheel myself over <laughs> here because it does, it, that doesn't really make too much sense. Um, everybody, can you guys see the game? Is it okay. on the screen? Okay. We definitely going to ha have to see the game. <laughs> <laughs> we good to go? Okay, let's make this thing happen. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Splash. So Splash, you can see, like I said before, uh, samurai-based game. Uh, there's five different samurai you can choose from currently. Um, they all have different, you know, unique play styles and abilities. Um, you can see there at the top, there's not a whole lot in the way of uh, controls and mechanics, but the idea is that the skill ceiling is super high. So, you know, you can get in and pick up the game really quickly and get into the fast-paced fighting of it, and then as you kind of master the mechanics in the game and the nuances of them, uh, the interactions can get pretty crazy when you have two really good players together. Um, so, Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to hold the mic in front of your face and ask, as I ask you questions so you don't have to hold it every time. So did I, did I, um, did I select the right thing here? I selected I selected this guy here. Yep, you can talk. Okay, so is that all right? Okay. <laughs> now, are we fighting? Yeah. So yeah, we're live right now. We're in the we, the match has started. Um, so at this point, it's all about the mind game. So you can see they're on Alex's side. He's kind of doing some attacks, and his stamina bars are popping up. So you have four charges of stamina, and uh, those are consumed by doing your action. So attacks dashes or parries will consume one bar of stamina and if you run out of stamina you have to wait until it regens before you can do an action however if you're in a bind and you need to get somebody off you you can press pommel strike and it'll kind of be like a get off me button situation where it doesn't consume stamina but it's pretty short range and risky if you throw it out and miss awesome i mean the art is is really gorgeous with this game i mean i've seen it come to conception as you guys were or as the team was working on it tell us a little bit about the team so the team is uh bevel bakery um it's three uh you know young guys uh in their early 20s uh that wanted to put a project together and put it out there uh you know fighting game enthusiasts um obviously super super interested in you know, putting something out into the world that's really stylized in, you know, their own vision. And 
everything in the game is hand drawn. Um, it's a pretty arduous task for three people, but obviously you can see the dividends uh, paying out here and how beautiful it turned out. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something different. I want you to pick up your mic and I wanna get somebody from the audience to play Alex right now. So you could, so Gabe can describe the game and somebody could fight Alex. Who wants to fight if, me? If someone beats Alex, I'm gonna give you guys a prize after this whole thing. You wanna jump up? Come on up. We have a contender. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Oh, man, I'm in Israel. Okay. Uh, do you like fighting games? Uh, sort of. Sort of. Okay, I think uh, I think he's gonna whip Alex's ass. <laughs> Just because uh, it's a sort of. Which which controller was it? This one. Okay, so you can pick it out. Yeah, you want to describe like. Oh, is this one? Okay. Okay, explain to us what to do. Okay, so basically, like I was saying before, the idea of the game is to manage your stamina. So if you run out of stamina, you're in a really tough spot, and that's your opportunity to get your one hit on the opponent. So the idea from you guys right here is playing a little bit of footsie, going back and forth, maybe baiting out some attacks by dashing into them and dashing backwards. But again, you want to manage your stamina bar so that you're not at a disadvantage or vulnerable to your opponent if they also have stamina. Oh. There you go. There's oh, your man, one that hit. Was, that was that was dirty. That was a practice <laughs> run. Yeah, that was yeah. practice. And it's five rounds practice. for uh, for each match, so first to five kills wins. Okay, so where are we at now? We're like at two. Yep, you're at two two. It's even. Okay. You're moving up now. Again, oh. this is like the footsie part of the game, uh, part of every round at the start, where you know you kind of can switch up your patterns as you go in. Um, Again, with the idea being that you don't want to blow your entire stamina reserve hey, as Matt, you're kind of doing that. Matt, could you go? Could you grab a, a couple of copies of uh, Mall Brawl over there and bring it back? <laughs> okay, you gotta let us know when we are gonna actually have the real battle. Yeah. How do One we... more slap. Are you are you ready to go? He's ready. <laughs> Let's do one more practice round, and then we're going to really get into it. Yep. So one thing maybe that you guys want to try here uh, is while you're fighting, really trying to utilize that parry button, which is on your A on the controllers. If you land a successful parry, you're rewarded by massive stamina regeneration. It regenerates two bars of stamina extremely quickly, which is essentially a counterattacking mechanic in the game that rewards you for reading your opponent's moves. So you really want to try to pepper in, you know, doing mix-ups and stuff when you go to dash in, sometimes you parry, sometimes you might just dash in and pommel strike, or sometimes you dash in and actually fully follow through with an attack. Okay, okay, so, okay, we're four, okay. <laughs> are we starting the round? Yeah, we can go ahead and- Okay, we, can... we are starting the round. Let's see how this pops off. You guys are all trying to fight Punk. You should be fighting Alex. <laughs> He's the pro player. I'm just, I'm just clowning, y'all. I'm just clowning. <laughs> all right, we're getting into it. We need play-by-play, play, Gabe. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So oh, my you Lord. You can see here, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. At the end of every round, there's this really nice, beautiful cinematic Thank sequence with the silhouettes. And you get your one-liner from your samurai, and the match is over. So now we can restart, and we'll get into a full 1v1, and we'll give full, you the play-by-play. Okay, play. This will yep. be a full situation. So rematch, you can look okay. through. Again, you can try to choose a different character if you'd like. Again, they're all unique. They're all slightly different. We probably can't get into all the details of exactly how they work uh, awesome. in the time period we have. But I'm choose ready. one you like, and let's hop in, and I'll give everybody the play-by-play. -play. We have the Ooh. mirror match now. Jinmu on Jinmu. Okay. Footsie in. Moving up. Yeah. Throw the parry out. There's Whoa. a parry. Nice. Okay, no stamina on Alex right now. Yeah. Charge attack moving through. Uh. Nice. Pommel strike. Yeah. Moving forward, dash back. Okay, we reset, we reset. It's time to footsie again. It's time to footsie. And nice, you get in, committed to the attack. Good stuff. Oh, you, Alex, wait. It's, it's a long game. It's a long okay. game. It's 0-1 right now. Here, we're, they're getting straight into it. Baiting out some attacks. Okay, making you think. Uh -oh. Parry, parry. Using those stamina bars pretty liberally, guys. <laughs> nice, good poke out, good poke out. So actually, Alex, what you've done there, right, is walk up, footsie, footsie, and then as you attack moving backwards, it's a slightly different animation for Jinmu as opposed to moving forward with his attack. So that's another way that you can mix up based on your character's kit and their animations for their different uh, moves, like attacks, pommel charge, and, and parry, and stuff like that. Nice. No stamina on Alex. Uh-oh, we're going moving in. Forward, we reset. Full stamina bars on both, and he moves in oh, before the stamina Ooh. recharges. Okay. Went in. I like that. I like that. 
You don't need to mind game if you just go straight in. What are we at? What are we at? What's it's, the score? It's 1-3, uh, I believe, if it popped up. Popped up for just a second there. So again, <laughs> trying to bait out the parries, but nice, nice, nice. You're reading when he's going in for it. So now we're at 1-3. It was 1-2 previously. And we reset, and the Samurai are back at it. Again, the mirror match. Ooh, just missed wow. time the parry just a tiny got bit. Stabbed up. But <laughs> you, you got to keep trying to do that, though, because the advantage that you get if you do land a parry is massive. So keep trying to get those parries as you go in there. Oh, Ooh, no. nice full range, oh, full range Lord. standing attack. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we got right. reverse sides here. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2-4. Final round, potentially here as you oh, walk up. Wow. It's just that parry timing is just slightly off, but it's good. It's the comeback. The comeback is real. Dash through. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, the stab back. Nice, nice. <laughs> so you can see as the timings for each round are, are different, depending on you know what pattern you're trying to set for your opponent. So there are some rounds where you saw Alex come out and immediately go for the attacks before players had used stamina. And there are also some rounds that kind of slowly bleed out a little bit and then it can kind of get crazy toward the end if you're trying to manage that stamina bar. But oh wait, who, that who's the winner? Poke drag came through. Alex a came big through. Big Alex back wins poke. the match. Yes! Woo! Made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to give guys. you a prize. We're going to give you Mall Brawl for the Switch for, since you were the first person to step up. So thank you. What do you have to say? It's a good game. Yeah, good game. Good game. <laughs> Gabe, tell us when the game is going to be released. Is it released? Yes, so Splash is currently out right now on Steam. It released in August. Um, it's $8.99. Um, it's going to be coming to consoles sometime early next year in Q1, but no date's been confirmed yet. It'll be on PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank could, you guys for having us. You could probably go that way. We, don't, we want to yeah, make yeah. sure that There's you can stairs, get off safely. Stairs this way. Awesome. So the game that... I mean, you did a good job. Was that your first time playing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Both first timers. Alex won. It was very close. Yes, very close match. But how would you say Alex was the pickup and playability of the game in terms of, from a fighting game perspective, you know, sometimes there's a barrier to entry that seems a little bit steep for a lot of people. But yeah, yeah, for Splash, yeah. I think the, the yeah. objective was to have something that people could pick up and play very casually, but also, again, have that high skill ceiling where there's a lot of, you know, back and forth mind game nuance as you sort of learn the character. Yeah, I think, I think the big thing... Can you hear me? Can, can we turn our mics up a little bit? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I... Um, uh, the big, the big difference is, uh, yeah, we need our mics up, mics up. The, the big difference is, uh, that one hit kill yep. that changes everything about how you play this game. So, yep. uh, that's, that's, it's pretty tricky. And, um, but it does, it does have that, that, uh, that feeling that like, I'm the one who sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not like the game. Yeah, because like the game sometimes with something like that where it's like a bit twitchy, you could you be like, oh, the game, right. the game got me, but but uh, this is not like that. Yeah. So it's good. Well, let's get a, let's get another person to jump up on stage. I see Jay Wong over there. At some point, he's got to jump. He's got to. I know you you're guarding Jay Wong, but at some point, he's got to jump up on stage and fight this dude. I'm just I'm just clowning, yo. <laughs> uh, but anybody else want to play? Any takers? Any Splash. takers? You get a free. You can get a prize if you win. Oh yeah, let's go. Come up on stage. <laughs> we got a full pirate up in the mix. Heck yeah. You want to? You want to go on the side? We don't want you to fall over your cape. Oh, yeah, there's and some all stairs that. over here on the side. Yeah. Let's hear it for the pirate. Woo! What's your name, okay. sir? Frankie. Frankie. Okay, we got Frankie up in the mix. Going to fight Alex. Now we're going to have the right sides yeah. set up. So Alex will be on the... Are we good? Is this... Yeah, just got to make sure the controllers are the right way around and we're all good. Okay, you cool, can just cool. Get rematch and it'll pull you straight into the character. So it'll be that one, yeah. You all right, talk, talk a little bit about the players, like the, the, the player makeup. Uh, in terms of the characters, yeah? Yeah, the characters. Yeah, yeah. so you can see there, it's kind of hard to tell maybe just at a glance, um, but 
So they all have slight nuances to how they play, right? So Inazagi is more of your uh, standard character in the Very sense well that he's then. kind of an all-rounder. Uh, his rates. animations are generally in the middle in terms of timings. Um, uh, Amaterasu, uh, who Frankie's playing right now, is kind of like uh, the big bad of the game. Um, he's, you know, uh, he's got a lot of quick animations. He has sort of like a, an ultra parry on his pommel strike that adds a little bit more of a stun lock than some of the other characters. Um, uh, Jean Mu, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Jean Mu, who you saw in the mirror match earlier, is more of a finesse sort of speed style uh, character that kind of deals with getting in and out quickly and using his back dash poke and uh, moving slash forward and stuff like that. So Alex um, is dirty, yo. <laughs> Alex has definitely played the game before today, I know, right? I'm dying. It's, he, he's winning. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, are we switching? I'm on the left. Okay, switch. Yeah, switch. Switch, switch, switch. <laughs> that, that's why. Yeah, me, none. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. I work either way. Oh yeah, that was. That, yeah, that. There we go. Too. There we go. Now the right side. Yup. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, as far as uh, learning the characters and, and whatnot, um, there's a full story mode, uh, so you can kind of get a taste of all the different characters' play styles and whatnot. No. And pick which one you want before you hop into the online multiplayer, um, which is really, you know the best way to maximize how you're learning your character and min-maxing all of those uh, details of their kit and whatnot. What? How, how long has the game been in development? Uh, it's been quite a while. So again, these guys are younger guys that were working on this when they were in university. Um, so okay. they've been working on it together as a passion project for quite a long time. And we're really excited to help them bring it to you know consoles and get it out there to as many people as possible. Because again, it's just a very, very small team of three people. Um, and again, a passion project that we really want to help them facilitate as much as we can. So. No! Nice. You got the sil Wait, did he smash you? He smashed me. Oh, Religious my lord. Over? Frankie? Frankie Ooh. went in. What a fierce Good job, dude. <laughs> Lots of samurai showdown, he said. Good job. Are, we, are you going to run Good it day. back? You want to run it back? Yeah, let's let's I'm do fine. Let's do best of three. <laughs> It's a real you, tournament you get a, you now. You get a prize anyway. Yeah, you get a prize for, for sweeping. You're getting it. Ha, so you dig the game. We like to hear that. And for anybody else, if it's looking cool, as soon as we're done with this, it's still back over there. We have a whole other setup back there, like Justin Yo, was saying, where all the other me. mixed games are being shown. You could challenge some other folks over there as well. Ah. Yep. Okay. So we're in the rematch. Alex, you're choosing Jinmu this yeah. time again. Little back dash move there for your attack is going to be your bread and butter. Nice dash through nice. attack. So again, like I was saying before, it, it seems like you know the mechanics there and the controls are you know there's technically four controls, right? But how those things all work together is really important. So when you charge an attack, uh, in terms of the mind game aspect of the game, you can you, oh, you can attack someone when they're charge attacking, or uh, you can dash cancel out of it to kind of bait out you know a parry or something like that or you can dash through them during a charge attack. Um, you know, things of that nature. Ha! So yeah. let's see if the guys can get any mind games going here. No stamina, no. so he throws out the attack straight away. Nice. Can't do anything about it unless you pommel strike, but got to be in range for it. So here we go. Moving again. And so what are your thoughts right now, Alex, about? Uh, I suck, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Yeah, but it's all about that improvement. It's all about that improvement. I might have to swap in, you know what I'm saying? I want to I want to test it out. Nice parry to parry. Nice full parry. You see those blue bars there showing the stamina regeneration? Oh, yeah. Nice dash wow. in. Full attack. Good job, Alex. I suddenly got good. Yeah, there you go. For, like, no reason. <laughs> we don't question it. No. Nice game there with the charge attack. Sometimes, you know, you don't bait it. Sometimes you just let it fly. Got to catch your opponent off guard in one way or another. When all it takes is one hit. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, there you go. Sick. Very nice. Get the little fake out action. Yep. Okay, Alex is still on his last life here. Still has two rounds in the bag, though. Yeah. Nice, that big okay. attack on attack will also trigger a parry as well. Oh, what? Oh, through the back? Uh, right nice, behind. nice. <laughs> you guys are doing a really good job of managing that stamina, not really blowing it, you know, all in one movement, which is nice. Charge attack on charge attack, big parry. Okay. I wasn't sure what. Yeah, charge what attack into charge happen? attack will knock uh -oh. both samurai backwards, but 
Okay, Frankie's got that stamina regen, and now we're both at oh, two bars, two bars. And, oh, Frankie with the move back, just moving that max range on the attack. Very nice. Frankie goes in. Not too bad, wins. but I expected better. That was well played, though, Alex. That was well played. Yeah, yeah. That was well played. Yeah, I wasn't completely Thank you, crushed. Frankie. Let me you give you went e e easy on me. <laughs> I just want to play again. <laughs> yeah. We, we can service you as much as you want over there with Play and Slash. Cool, cool. Okay. Thanks for coming up. Thank you guys. Much appreciated. Awesome. Come over here. We'll cool. give you a prize. We'll give you uh, Jane Silent Bob Mall Brawl. So, yeah, thanks for participating. Uh, you want to take the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks, Frankie. All right. All right. So, I'm going to. This time, I'm gonna fight you, Alex. Okay. I'm putting okay. the mic down. <laughs> All right, let's see what the Justin and Alex matchup looks like here. I'm definitely getting smashed this time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So what are we thinking for characters here? We're thinking Jinmu, Izanagi, Susano. What do you like the most so far? You played a couple different characters so far. What do Wait, you think? is this a mirror match? Is yep. it? Izanagi on Izanagi. Smash. What? Copycat. <laughs> Smash, son. So you see here for Izanagi, uh, like I was saying before, again, all the, the characters have you know, in, unique kits and whatnot. So uh, Izanagi has uh, a stomp on his pommel strike, which will be on your Y button there. Has a slightly longer range. Nice. Very big attack. Uh, yeah, his pommel strike has a slightly longer range than some of the other samurai, um, and it's really, really useful wow. when they're trying to get rushed down, or when the opponent is trying to rush you down at low stamina and whatnot. Nice. Going in, <laughs> dodge in for that parry, both. Okay, nice. Ooh, dodge through and hit him with the hitbox on the backside of the animation. Very nice. So that's also, again, one thing that you can do. Again, as you, like I was saying before, the more that you play the game and, and you know, master your specific samurai and the animations that get thrown out at any specific point, you can kind of min-max those interactions with a parry coming out from Alex here. Okay, full stamina again. What are the boys gonna do? Dashing in with a full parry from Alex as he goes in again with that stamina regeneration. Almost timed that parry really nicely, Justin. And it's one, two in favor of Alex. Moving toward the middle. Feeling it out. <laughs> Alex oh, fully committing to the charge attack. We like to see that. Yes. We like to see that. One, three. In the Izanagi mirror match. Again, moving in with the charge. He lets it fly, but a very nice parry. Moving forward. No stamina now on Justin, but he's safe moving backwards as he gets another parry moving forward. Full stamina regen. And we're now at full reset with full stamina. Again, moving in for the big, big parry. Again, from Justin, moving no. in with the full attack. Very nice, very nice. The comeback is on. Two, three. Very nice dash through. Made oh the parry and hit that back slash. Good job, good job. Wait, is that it? Now two, no. four, two, four. We got one more round. It's game point for Alex, but still very possible to win. Again, Ooh. those one hit mechanics coming into play here. <laughs> Stay over there. Nice pommel strike. Nice. Uh, do you doing a charge attack? Oh, oh, your stomp. So your stomp, your pommel strike is basically like a get off me button. It doesn't cost any stamina, and it'll interrupt attacks and stop dashes and whatnot if it catches them in the in the hitbox. Okay. Scores three four, I believe, right? Oh, big double attack carry. Okay, no stamina regen off that. Full stamina on both. Justin going in for the full charge. Backing it up, keeping the space. Alex going in with the full charge attack too. Parried off, and then another parry from Alex as he moves in low stamina on Justin as he dashes through backwards. Another parry now coming from Justin. Okay, we're back at stamina. Resources for both here. Oh, as he dashed through. Charge attack, well played, well played, good. Alex. That was really good. You. What a fierce Good game. Opponent. You get a prize, sir. You get a prize, Alex. Yeah. Well, thank. Like, tell us a little bit more about the game. We have our. Uh, do we have our next guest? Okay. Cool. That's... Yeah. I mean, I guess as far as things I didn't mention about the game, um, there is a story mode in the game. Uh, so, like, you know, you can go through and play through all 16 levels and learn about all the different characters and their kits and how they work. 
Um, again, there's online matchmaking so that you can get in and play against your friends. And there's obviously local uh, offline as well. Um, oh yeah, as far as consoles are concerned, again, coming out sometime next year um, and potentially some additional cosmetics and content to come with that, uh, but nothing confirmed. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much, Gabe. Absolutely. Thank you guys Splash. for having us. Splash. Game is really dope. Alex, smash some folks. Smash <laughs> me up. Definitely purchase it. Grab it. Yeah. yeah. And play it in the back. Also, yes. yes, the mix is here. We're over there. There's 20 games. You could talk to the developers, and the publishers are actually making and publishing the games, which is really cool. Yep. So make sure to take, uh, take a look and, and check it out. There's some artists over at the mix booth as well. Yeah, but thank you so much, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for having us. We appreciate it. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Give it up for Gabe. Also, is there a way to, to can we get our, our mics up a little bit? Um. All right, we're going to load up the next game. What is the next game? Uh, it is. The next game is. Extremely powerful capybaras. Cup capybara? How do you pronounce that? Let's have Chris and Thomas explain to us. Yes. All right. Okay, All right so how do we, we have? We have mics for you guys, real quick. Oh yeah. Here you go. Whoa. As we boot up the game. Uh, I was about to pull the seat from under you. I didn't want you to fall. Uh, <laughs> that would have been that would have been extremely. Oh, oh my God! Um, I can't believe you did that to me. at its best. So, tell us about extremely powerful capybaras. So, uh, extremely powerful capybaras comes from a Brazilian development studio, Studio Bravarda, responsible for Sky Caravan, which you can play on Steam today if you wanted. Uh, extremely powerful capybaras comes out on Tuesday. So Tuesday. Right around the corner. It's like so close to coming out, and I'm glad that we were able to bring it here to the mix. You can check out the full game. We have where, it here. It you can beat it here at the show. Yeah, you can beat it. You can beat it. But, but you have I mean, to be here. Save, save some <laughs> when, you, when you get it on Tuesday, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah so we're going to jump in. This is four players. I think we'll probably play three. Oh, wait. We got, we got Vince up here. So we're gonna have four people play the game. Stand in. And then we're gonna call on someone in the audience to, to play as well for potentially getting a prize. You guys like prizes? Actually, yeah. you wanna, does someone wanna jump up here right now? Do we wanna get? <laughs> we'll do it. Let's get someone up here. I mean, you got the tail and everything. Come on up. Try to go, go up that. We don't want you to hurt yourself, so we wanna. <laughs> we may be liable, three? you know That's what I'm saying? We're not trying to get, a, get sued today, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I haven't. Uh, no, there we go. The mix down. We're not going to shut the mix down on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, sure. We can. We can. Yeah, we can that's a good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Are y'all? You can stand too. We just gotta. Let's do. Uh, can yeah. you all see? Get that good old yeah, yeah. huddle around the TV. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, strangle hold this plushie right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, so squeeze them up. Bonus, we are selling the extremely powerful coffee bars Druid plush on our online store. Uh, PM-studios.com slash store. You can get it and get the game key at the same time. Excellent, excellent investment. Awesome. Extremely yeah. excellent. Extremely, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be paying off like in spades later, you know what I'm saying? So we've got uh, this hub area where you select your class as the capybara. No naked capybara is allowed into the, the dungeon areas. And so they have the druid on the far left, uh, the warrior to the right of that, the assassin and the bard. Each of them have their own like attack patterns. Um, I can describe them, or you can see them in action as we enter these um, areas. And so we've got a few different maps that'll be available in the final build. We have three, um, there's the basic area there's a fishy swamp where you get movement reduction as you cross through like puddles and bodies of water and then the third is kind of like really hellish they have like fire coming up and spikes so you have to kind of time your movement as you go through the different areas basic gameplay is there are a bunch of enemies that swarm you over time and so you have to survive long enough for the boss to spawn and then defeat the boss in order to clear the map and then of course as the victor you are due plenty of hefty rewards 
So you get copy coins and coins to help um, boost the skills and power up kind of your favorite um, build and kind of, yeah, just explore the, the depths of these powerful capybaras. So lots of zombie splats. When you get enough experience to fill up the bar at the top of the screen, you each get to select your power up. So they have active and passives that uh, increase the, the performance same one? of your capybaras. You can't select the same one, but you can continue to power up those power ups as you find them when they pop up randomly at the next level. And then each capybara has four active and four passive slots. And once those are maxed out, you kind of need to lean on the other uh, abilities that you have. So is it every person for themselves, or, or are they playing teams? You, you're you kind of fighting the same team in party oh, I get, I to, def to, to make it to the boss. I mean, you can like um, avoid helping your friends and kind of go out, leave them behind, because it's kind of like a real zombie survival situation. Yeah, that makes you sense. You don't want yeah. to go rescue your friend when they're being mobbed by hundreds of zombies, and it's like, well, I could lose getting in there and not make I it get, out. I get it. So, so there's a clear good. winner. Yes. There's a clear winner at the end of this. <laughs> the winners game. are the winners who stay alive. Okay, okay. Awesome. No no friends that are dead are good friends. <laughs> Only <laughs> that's, alive friends. That's so that's so true. <laughs> yeah, and so continuing to pick up um, some great power ups. Um, one of the things that I think the team really brought forward is the Brazilian culture into the game because they are a Brazilian developer. You can kind of see it in like the, the jungle theming with the capybaras. Um, I always forget that being in the Northern Hemisphere that it's completely opposite seasons on the other side of yeah, the world. Yeah, that's so true. So they're just going into their summer, the capybaras are coming out. It's just like a wonderful time. But like, yeah, just all the, the colors and wildlife and just like the rich, rich experience. You also get like the chancla that comes out. Like that's also a thing that happens in Brazil. Just like the legendary slipper that does. Wait, wait, what damage. is a chancla? It's a chancla? The chancla. What it's is like, a chancla? It's, a, it's just like a slipper and like you get like your grandma or your mom when they get mad at you, they, they throw the slipper. <laughs> and so the same thing happens in Brazil too. And so they kind of like threw that power oh, up in it. The, nice, the assassin has it and you can see it like going back and forth. Just kind of like a real fun like note to one of those um, cultural memes. But yeah, so kind of running around, we've got the fish enemies that start to come in. So as the timer counts down, the enemies start getting tankier and tankier, beefier and beefier. In this basic map, you kind of see just like really rudimentary enemies, but as you advance in, in the game and you unlock the other maps, the enemies get a lot more fierce and start shooting back at you or just a little bit more aggressive. And so it just kind of really ramps up. How many uh, how many levels are in the game? And so we have three maps. Uh, we're launching the game, and then there are also uh, six classes. And so we only have the four to start with, but you can unlock two more classes. And then as you advance in the game and collect currency, you can purchase upgrades to those classes to boost okay. them up. And also with each of like the passive and active abilities that you get. And so there's like a really cool wall of all the different abilities that you've like powered up. And then there's also an achievement system. So there are achievements that get awarded through gameplay. And then one of the cool things that I like is once you've cleared the game, you get access to what's called frenzy mode, and it allows you to toggle the difficulty of the game by changing enemy no. mode, the enemy speed, or the enemy power, and it just boosts the, the challenge, but also increases the rewards that you get for completing <laughs> the run. And so you can just keep grinding out stage after stage, playing with your friends, seeing like how, how high on the pinnacle of extremely powerful capybaras That's you can awesome. reach. Really cool. And then when when your allies die, oh. I think it's been seen a, a couple times during this gameplay session. So everybody everybody levels up at once. Yes. Okay. So everyone that's alive levels up at once. Uh, okay. Okay. Because you can't have successful dead friends. It, it just doesn't yeah. work. You, yeah. You get what you. I don't know. I don't know. From being alive. Not not in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah. guess arguably that person's done. So. Yeah. No, that's it's it's so cool. It's so colorful. Um, yeah, and it's just like one of those really good, rich couch co-op experiences that we all kind of like missed in like the past yeah. uh, few years where everything kind of slowed down, everyone was forced to stay at home and it's like, man, like we need some like good, good couch time. It's just like a good way to unwind. It's also really accessible because the only um, real commands you need to worry about are like the dash to get through enemies, but like all of the attacking is kind of automated for you. And so based on your abilities, you kind of like learn to position yourself a little bit better, but you really just focus on kiting the enemies and making sure you're clear of danger, kind of managing the mob as you go through, which 
among the different maps gets a little bit more challenging, like the, the wetlands map that I mentioned with the water. Whoa. You'll start to notice as you're moving around, you'll get like bottleneck because you're going into the, the water that slows you down and you find choke points and suddenly you're a little bit more swarmed in unless you get a little bit better at navigating the wetlands or like the spike traps and the fire hazards in the last map just kind of get a little dangerous if you're not watching how quickly you're moving through or if you're going too fast you're running into the backside of the other zombie mob so. yeah that's yeah that's what so what level of uh randomization is is in the you may have talked about this before so it's really um the the enemies kind of come in at a steady clip the randomization is the the spread of perks that you get as you level up and so there's a button at the bottom of the screen once you hit the level up where it allows you to re-roll for a different opportunity of like skills if you don't see what you need in the window. And so, um, yeah, just kind of a good way to pick out some of your favorite abilities if you don't see anything that works for you or you know that you really need like more defense because you're getting like chewed away by all these zombies or like maybe you need a little bit more attack so you go for like the crit power ups and the reroll kind of gives you the opportunity to salvage some potentially bad luck but still kind of keep it exciting and a little bit varied in its experience nice so let's go back to Alex. Alex is intense, <laughs> intensively <laughs> playing the game. He's got a mic. He's mic. My, my, yeah, I got. I, yeah, my, my, mic. I feel like my health is lower than everybody else. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I feel you better just, now. You just picked the crippled copy bar out. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this uh, this becomes intense pretty fast. And uh, but what's good is you get all these upgrades, and so you're able to. You're able to kind of strategize here what what you want, and I feel like there's a lot of experimentation that's necessary. So like a lot of replayability. Is that true? Of course. Yeah. And so another one of the joys of the game is based on the different classes of a copy bar you select. There are certain power ups that will advance the evolution of your copy bar class in a system that we call the synergy. And so if you are able to reach the max level of one of the synergetic uh, power-ups with your Capybara, they will get more power. And so like the attack animation changes, and it's just really cool to watch. I'm not gonna spoil any of it, but um, yeah, each class has its own set of abilities that work better for it. Yeah. So you can like pick a Capybara that you like, and then you learn about the synergies like, oh, this is kind of how they want you to play it. But of course, it's up to you what perks you like how you enjoy playing. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so when this run is over, we should have someone else jump on board and and give it a try. Do we have, oh, I like Vince is like all up in the cut. This, 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 this guy, this yeah. kid over so, here. Yeah, so are we on a run? Oh yeah. The, the run is not over though, is it? They're still rolling, right? Yeah, we got okay. plenty of time. But okay. I mean, we can also hot swap to get like some. Let's, what am I doing? Let's, let's hot swap. Oh, yeah. Right, Can I not takers? select? What happened? You want to get a little bit of mic time, Thomas? Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> yeah. We're looking for a controller to, to get one of those. Oh, is it because we're dead? Can we, oh, no, we swap the controller? It was just confusing. Yeah. So the next level oh. up, we can have you on standby, and then you can jump in. Oh, or we can just... Or just Fly throw in you in here. right now. That's what. Oh, we can wait. We can wait. We invented a button just for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, the pause <laughs> button. Oh. Want to scoot over a little bit? Like, yeah, we want to scoot over a little bit more. Is he outro? He didn't have to leave. You know. That's okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Big round of applause for for our copy bar, I guess. Uh, <laughs> thank you for jumping on board. That's an awesome costume. <laughs> we'll we'll come back with your prize momentarily. We'll have to finish wrapping this up. But got you. Whoa! So much. Uh -oh. It yeah. crumpled. Uh, and but we'll do a quick one. Ba bum ba bum. Uh-oh. What's happening? I feel like something's happening. The okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, so they're starting from, from a fresh Scratch. new start. And they got to yeah. pick their copy bar class. Okay. Class. Oh, we, we have we a naked copy class. bar. We need to go get them clothed appropriately. Uh, stand on the wall. That's really hilarious. This one over here. I mean, I didn't, I didn't realize copy bars are go. in Brazil. Yeah. 
that's that's where they're from, right? I, uh-huh. or I'm actually that... not sure about the origin of capybaras. I think they like <laughs> came from outer space. They're yeah. like a spaceship, and they're just like, oh yeah, this is a cool planet. Let's just like yeah. hang out here. Yeah, and they, they had to check, ch- uh, choose their class and everything. That's exactly <laughs> how they evolved. Yeah. There was, there was <laughs> before dinosaurs were the capybara. This is like right? a, bio- a biology lesson sort of come yeah, to it's life. Yeah, crazy. They went into hype. No one knew. We're learning now. Millennia, and then they started emerging again when video yeah. games came out. Like, oh yeah, perfect. This is this is our time to shine. It was like Captain America style. You know what I'm saying? He was like frozen in the tundra. Captain America. Captain. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, wow. Get out of here, Chris. Quick, uh, <laughs> you are now the host. You can leave now. No, no, officially the host, oh, dude. No. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> Theatrics as best. I, I said it before, you know. Starting out fresh run, got those zombie stragglers. Or I guess they're the the early birds. Wait, what? Just like the stragglers. The, the first ones that that the found the, the, the prey in the jungle. I was like, oh, fresh, fresh meat. Yeah. Capybaras. They just Mac lounge quick. around all day, right? Yeah, they're like these are big. These are big rats, but no, they're dirty. I mean, <laughs> you know about capybaras? They got don't they have like. They, they have like armor on their butts and they like burrow because of the armor and they sh- they'll mess they'll mess they'll snap people in half <laughs> that is very true I'm, no I, really did a, I did a deep defensive. i did a deep dive oh, so I, for real. Uh, <laughs> someone's being red wait what happened it's like the hit stun like flat uh, oh like, okay i was like, about to say right when right when they leveled Two. up this says we were talking about People getting snapped in half by capybaras. <laughs> the screen turns red. Cursed words. Yeah, I know. So right? we gotta kill in the circle to revive yeah. them. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Hooray! Uh, revival mechanic, and then as as you revive the same person over and over, the weight of bringing them back from the dead just becomes heavier and heavier. And so you need <laughs> to sacrifice more zombies in order to to patch their soul back together to get them back on the field. Just like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like in real life. <laughs> like I said, it's a biology lesson come to life. But yeah, just surprisingly, some of the most like relaxed and chill animals. Like it was amazing year 2023 for the capybara. Just a lot of exposure out there. Yeah. Seeing on like social media, people like finding about finding out about them for the first time. It's like wow, they're they're just like amazing chill homies. Like yeah. who doesn't want to hang out with capybaras? Yeah, don't they have like they just allow the birds to just. Land, perch on them. Perch on them. And they're like friends with like even dangerous animals. Like, wait, what? Yeah. Just chilling with the alligators and stuff like I'm just Build that rapport. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, I made that one up. Like, I don't even know if that's true, but they they are surprisingly <laughs> chill. And yeah. Unless unless you offend them or like threaten their young and then they get really aggressive real quick. But yeah. So I'm gonna jump in here. What's your name, sir? Jet. Jet? Like the thing that flies? Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, man. Game. So how do you dig the game so far? And uh, what what other games do you play? I play a lot of online shooters. So like Call of Duty and some third person like Fortnite. Really? So do you play any kind of like 2D games like this, like Binding of Isaac or anything? Like, not really, no. Not really. So shark? Are you a shark? It out, though. Oh, okay. So this this gentleman plays Binding of Isaac, which is amazing. That's <laughs> cool. So you you're catching on pretty quickly to this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty quickly. It's pretty simple controls. Yeah, nice. just gotta watch that dash. Make sure that you don't graze up against zombies. And so, which which of these copy bars are you? I'm player two. Player two? Oh, the, the the ghost? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> you're not being a very good friend right now. You just said it was easy to play. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. It's also easy to pick you back up and put you straight back on the field. Just need one zombie in that circle. If oh, anybody in the periphery who are, like, standing way back there want to come play a game and get a prize, definitely come uh, sit down and, and get ready for a battle. Step on up. Get yourself a prize. You know you want it. Ooh. Yay! 
And so that's the, the treasure. If you can sit in the circle long enough to pop it open without leaving, you can ascend the, the basic ability of your class. And so you continue to power up and you also get more currency, which you use to invest in your power ups as, as a bonus. So even if you fail in the run, you still get to keep your money, which is nice. And so kind of like slowly build your character so you can uh, continue to enjoy the depths and challenge of the game. Slowly watching that zombie kill count go up. Almost at 500 zombies. Wow, they just they just don't stop coming. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit more about the game, where to find it. We're about to wrap up. And so the game can be found on Steam December 5th. And so Tuesday. It's coming really soon. So Tuesday. Tuesday. Can I hear yeah. you guys say it? When is it coming out? Wait, somebody said Wednesday. <laughs> Who said Wednesday? Who said Wednesday? You can still get it Wednesday. You'll definitely get it on Wednesday. But it'll be there Tuesday, too. OK. Nice. So come check it out. And then we also have a demo available on Steam. It's called Extremely Powerful Capybara's Training Grounds, which you can access. Um, yeah, it's good fun for everybody. Local co-op, online co-op. Um, have fun with everybody. Invite everyone to your house. Yeah, Everyone definitely. Can be a is it all, it's not online yet? Or will it be? It is. It is? Okay. Yes. No, no, no so, I mean like it, online multiplayer. Yes, online okay. multiplayer. Awesome. When awesome. it launches, yeah. Okay, cool. Look forward awesome. to it. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for jumping on. Jet. Thank you. Want to give you a... Pro and Jet. Thank you so much for, for playing, Jet. Thanks. And big... See ya. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Big Sharky. Thanks a bunch. Got one for you too. Yeah. Any remarks? Um, it was really fun. I can I understand the aspect from Isaac. So, you know, if I love Isaac, I'll love this game. So, if any Isaac fans love it, they'll love this too. Yeah. Thanks for awesome. checking it out. Thanks. We'll get you in a second. Yeah. Thanks so much. Would you like Chris. the mic back? No, you can. I mean. Oh, thanks. Home, you know I mean? get a prize too. <laughs> I have fun. <laughs> you can just be over there and be like. <laughs> Extremely powerful, powerful, powerful. Okay, yeah, thank you, Chris and Thomas. It's an awesome game. Definitely check it out. PM, repping, hella tough. Great games. But up, up next, we got Sulfur. Sulfur. Anton. Sulfur. Sulfur. Anton, where's Anton? Ant we uh. can't see him. There's so <laughs> many people out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! What's that? Yeah. Yes. Pick it up. <laughs> Mike. <Help> yourself. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Do you want to play? And I can yes. talk? So He's going to play, and then we're going to bring a guest on. Sweet. So tell us when we should bring the guest on. Uh, I think you prefer mouse and keyboard. Uh-oh. Yeah, OK. Right, That's what good. he prefers anyway. Yeah. You saw how I beat him in Splash. <laughs> so that, we're going to have controller support. But okay. for now, mouse and keyboard is, is the best. So it's a first-person shooter, adventure, single-player game. Um, and you play as a priest. Uh, and your church was burned down by a witch. So you're, you're in, in this ethereal realm trying to survive. That's mad dark, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it may be too dark. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm, from, playing, I'm, I'm from Europe, so. I, I don't yeah, think it yeah, started it's, yet. <laughs> yeah, we're scared out here to be dark, you know <laughs> what I mean? So we, we, okay. we let you guys uh -oh. pave that way. Oh no, my car's broken down. Yeah, so you chased, chased her down with your car, crashed into that tree. If you look behind you, you see your... That's where you left. Oh, I went through the fence. <laughs> I'm not going to fix that. <laughs> you can fix that. You I'll can, leave, that I'll that's leave the it. purpose of the game. <laughs> fix the fence. I got to find a hammer and some nails. So that's my first mission. That's right. So tell us about the game. Like what, you know, what inspired it and like how you came up with the aesthetic and that kind of thing. So it has this kind of flat art, uh, art style, kind of stylized art, which we love. Um, it's inspired by old cartoons, like we love Adult Swim cartoons. I could, yeah, uh, I could tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vibe is, is definitely there, for sure. And then gameplay-wise, we, we have a lot of inspirations. It's anything from old Diablo to Counter-Strike to Binding of Isaac. An old roguelike called Evan, like a Evan. 
e- Ivan, like a Finnish old ro- roguelike oh, okay. that barely people have played from 2002. That's one of our biggest inspirations for this game. Noita as well, lots of different... Oh, Noita is... Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. That's really cool. Uh, so, so it is a roguelite, I would say. It's a first-person shooter ro- roguelite, which we think is missing on the market right now. It t- totally is, yeah. So we have this deep dialogue system, which is super interesting for a stream. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, you, you keep dangling that. <laughs> that so you're talking to this amulet. Uh, you start with this this in your pocket. You know, it, the witch dropped it. It's speaking to you, and and it's trying to get out there too. So this is so you don't know who this is, but it knows you. Nice. Um, okay. So that will guide you through the game, a bit like Navi and Zelda. Oh. Oh. I regret entering this game. And popping off. Yeah. I gotta find that hammer though. So I'm on my way. Yeah, so this is, this is like the early tutorial where you don't have a weapon or anything. You can just. Oh. Yeah, there's some physics. Oh. <laughs> Barrel oh. rolling is, is like definitely one of the main objectives, right? <laughs> yeah, this is one of the most important parts of oh. game design. <laughs> I upset the cave with the barrel rolling. So where where are you located? Like where are you coming from? Because I so, think that's pretty that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So we're a small team. We're four developers from Sweden making this game. Uh, we're work remotely from different cities, and we all met through game jams originally. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're all from different parts of uh, the games industry in Sweden, but it's it's a big industry in Sweden nowadays. Like yeah, games like crazy. Minecraft and Candy Crush. Ooh. And, Stuff like that. Yeah, you get your wakasashi. Oh, Zone yeah. F. You can save uh, some ammo. Oh, nice. That's, that. that's pretty sick. So, how long have you guys been developing the game? So, we've been developing this for about two years. Um, the the idea is a really old demo like prototype we made in 2017. That really? We, we picked up again in 2021 and started working on it more seriously and we pitched the game and we got funding oh really where where did you get funding i'm just curious from landfall games oh also swedish yeah oh okay that's that's so cool so they they believed in the project and ended up investing in our company actually so we can self-publish that's really really cool yeah i was in uh sweden in 2022 and visited some folks from Embracer and Raw Fury, and it was like so interesting just to see that Dice was across the street from our hotel, and like, right, you know, yeah. you got all the like, uh, what is it? Fat Shark, like Fat Shark, all these there. awesome studios just like there, thriving, making cool stuff, and then just like busting out and doing their own thing too. We're on the stream, same street too, actually. Really, you are <laughs> yeah. okay. That, yeah. that area is so. That cool. area is really dense. It's like that. I think like that and parts of Tokyo <gasps> where the game developers reside yeah, yeah. Are, are like the yeah. most yeah yeah that's right where well, you were you were at bit summit right yeah yeah that's right yeah yeah it's cool yeah, yeah it's so- awesome worldwide developers you know okay what okay what what's, what's now going on? he's through the tutorial <laughs> so now you have your weapon and you start the game so this amulet friend of yours is uh, the mechanic is you use that to get back to the hub world. So there's a hub world similar to like Diablo. Yeah. So you run, you make a run through this area or next area. If you die, you lose your stuff. But you okay. can use this amulet if you have charges to get back to the hub world to yeah. save, like an extraction shooter, pretty much. Okay. Um, that make that makes sense. So you can keep your stuff, and also it has other purposes. Yeah. We're definitely going to pull you up to play. We're just trying to get through the tutorial, you know, go through the tutorial and stuff. So don't worry. Yeah. And here's our first enemy. This is oh, okay. Goblin oh, Spearman. Super creepy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. He looks kind of like Finn. Like, you I, I know? feel bad. So, yeah. Hello? <laughs> he looks like a demonic Finn. <laughs> Can I somehow redeem him? We do love Adventure Time. <laughs> yeah, but Adventure Time. We didn't think about that until people started <laughs> saying it. Or I didn't Wait, think about someone it. said that before. Yeah, okay, yeah, I heard okay. people say Adventure Time before. It's so creepy he's coming, how he's coming out of the, the darkness like that. <laughs> you know, how they fall over like that. You know? Uh-oh. It's rumbling. I don't think I'll go down there. 
What is rumbling, sir? Yeah, you've d jumped oh, wait, down there, and you're on the first floor of the case. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't go there, right? You jump down there. I should? Yeah, yeah, enter that. That looks like fire. Yeah, take risks, dude. Yeah, you have to be brave. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're insinuating something, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a coward? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be a punk, Alex. Just jump in the hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to live life. It's like school all over again. <laughs> yeah. Jump in the river. So the, this cave area, it has these floors, and in the end area is the Goblin Cousin. Yeah. And if you beat the Goblin Cousin over here on the show floor, you get a t-shirt. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, that's the first boss. Uh, we gotta give we gotta give a T-shirt to somebody on stage though. Come on, besides Alex though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Ah! You... Okay, now what? <laughs> Alex has to whole beat the, the Goblin Cousin to get a T-shirt. Obviously, it has yeah. to be fair, right? Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it has to. Uh! Okay, this guy looks rabid. Uh, no, that's a baby. <laughs> oh no! He dropped a laser sight. Yo, That's why, really good. Yo, Alex, why are you shooting babies? Though? It's, you know, it's not my choice. It's... So we get we, you get more ac accuracy with that. This is great. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. So you can it's put nice any sight. attachment on any gun. Really? Okay. So you can find silencers, like these these laser sights, um, and stuff like that. Nice. So how is a run? Uh, how does a run work? So you you run. This is the first area. Yeah. If if you die, you lose your stuff. But if you finish the boss, you keep it and you unlock the next area. Um, so run is, according to our play tests, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes ah. to get through an area. Uh, but from watching people play, <laughs> it might be more than an hour to get through an area. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> that was no shade on you. That was just like ah. what we noticed from playing. Uh -huh. um, yeah, there's some oil over there. Where's that young man? Yeah, go get it. You can sprint as well. Oh. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, so there is some platforming to it too. Okay. But it's optional. You could also just like speed run. You just run through. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can we can we get that uh can we get that young man up here? Can he have a go at sure. this? Try to. Yeah, come come on up. You think come he around can... the side right here? You think you can make it across this jump? You think you're better than me? You wanna have a go? <laughs> Are you good at first person, uh, first person? Where's the uh, mic? All right, what, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew, you play a lot of first person shooters? Uh, yeah. You know, like, like, uh, like games, like that, like PS4, PS5. Which one? Just games like Fortnite and all that, first person. Fortnite or whatever? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably going to do well. Yeah. yeah. You're going to, why? You're faster at this than I am. Trying to make a jump He's right got here. those reflexes. Yeah. yeah. On your left side there. Yeah, there, there's a, there's oil you can upgrade your gun with. There you go. Over there. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard jump. There you yeah, go. He, he did oh, it. you did it. You did it. What He's kind used of, to those four gut oil. jumps. Perfect. Gut oil. You pick it up with E. Yeah, he, he's, he did all the tutorial stuff. So on tab, you have an inventory. On what? Tab. Oh, tab. That one. You read, you get more tr critical damage if you put that on. And that can be put on any gun. So if you kill enough enemies, it's going to rank up the gun and it's going to get its slot where you can put enchantments like that or like um, like you can fire damage, all kinds of different spells and magic on your guns. Okay. So, you, so you can you can put this oil on the gun right now? Uh, not right now. It has to be ranked up first. Oh, or, I see. Yeah, exactly. You need more more kills. Oh, right. So do you just find them? Do you just find them on the like in the cave? I mean, you, you see, you see what, what the game is. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a cartoon vi violence, so it's yeah. not too bad. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> All right, let's go back out. That, shooting fins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that baby, that baby came hey, straight for me. You're shooting yeah. babies. Okay. Yeah, so you're going that way. Straight ahead.
He wants yeah. to see some action, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, on, oh, on, yeah. on okay, F, you have a sword. F, and you use your sword. There you go. Nice. Oh, okay. nice. Very good. So when you press F, it just goes slash, or do you, you choose a weapon? <gasps> oh, shoot him. Oh, there you go. Huh? Oh, oh, you died? Wow. Wow. That was unfair. He got tossed into the fray. I didn't run just down the health. Let's that's, roll. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all on him. Yeah, Alex didn't get hit at all. No, not at yeah. all. No, no, not at all. Not at all. So when you die, you end up in this hub world. Uh, so that's, he dug you up. Oh, this guy. And you got banged up pretty okay. good, yeah. So if you, if you, um, if you exit this dialogue, um, on your left side there, that's the cave area. So that's the first level where you were. But now you have full health, so it's going to be easier this time. <laughs> so did I just go down? Yeah, down there. Just don't be afraid to jump in the hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you get a fresh start. I think it's going to do way better. And that's kind of the philosophy of our design. Like, you usually die within the first 10 minutes yeah. of playing. And then you learn how to dodge enemies and a bit... We love Dark Souls, we love hard games. Yeah. Um, and then you figure it out. Nice. And you survive. So what What are the um, roguelite aspects? I know you described some of them. Can you kind of go into detail about some of that? So since you have your amulet, you can save some of your, your things if you extract them to the hub world, to your permanent stash. You have a chest there. You can put, put your stuff. Um, you also might um, get um, collected value throughout your run yeah. um, that you can keep. So you keep progress. Uh, if you kill the first boss, you're going to keep that progress, for example. So so there are elements where it's roguelite rather than, than a roguelike. Yeah, uh, well, that makes sense. You don't have to start completely over every time. Yeah. Do the... Do the uh, Oh, oh, oh. It's ghosts behind you. Oh, there's oh, a ghost. Wait, there's ghosts? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, ghost. yeah. He's like, I don't want to try and talk about the ghost, son. <laughs> He's freezing you. He's behind you. Describe, yeah. describe the feeling of uh, being chased by a ghost. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, weird. it's weird. It's weird. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> there's a rock. He's like, it's weird and you're weird. Stop. Get that, <laughs> get that mic out of my face, son. <laughs> Trying to play the game. Oh yeah, he's behind you again. You can flee and just fall, jump down there. If he's not flee, you. flee the ghost. Oh, Is there yeah, a yeah. run? Run away from oh, your yeah. problems. There's a run on sprint. Yeah. Oh, there's sprint. Or on, on shift, I mean. Okay, shift is run. Okay. But now the ghost is gone. <laughs> so. So you don't need to run it. You don't need to run it up. No, they, they won't follow you through through okay. uh, floor. So you can't see the ghost. You can see the ghost okay. if you turn around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, think, I think he just was uh, yeah, a bit careful so about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, the baby. Uh oh. You had no choice. Getting sniped. <laughs> He's like. Nice. Dirt McGirt. Oh. oh. You can't blame me for that one. <laughs> no, not at all. But he's going in though. Yeah, he dropped the snail there. If you get a sna snail and some herbs or some butter, you can make escargot. It's like real life. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Going to the caves, you shoot some babies, and yeah. then you eat escargot. It's like, yeah, and you you get sick if you don't cook it. So. Yeah, that, I mean that makes sense. You can I would, get lung, that, lung worms. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> want to eat raw snail at all. That's the important part of the game. <laughs> I just I, I actually designed all the cooking and all, really? the, all the food yeah that's my biggest contribution <laughs> uh, did you get distracted making this game <laughs> uh, not at all there's no feature creep or anything for sure. wait so how does so did, did, we didn't show the cooking yet right right so if okay you, okay if you walk up to cauldron press e i love the, that's hilarious though. he's trying to get up there but can't reach it <laughs> Yeah, so you can cook, you can combine nice. pretty much anything um, into different... So you go to a cauldron. So he's, yeah, okay. You go up to cauldron and there's a craft, it's like a crafting station, like in Minecraft, yeah. but it doesn't matter exactly. Ew, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go, what is, oh my lord, that's, that's grotesque. Yeah, so they are in war with each other. Uh, uh, so that's the Black Guild. And the, these, this is the next area, it's the town area of the game. Um, it's like a run-down European town, yeah. uh, and there, there's a there's a black guild, a cult. Okay. So these cultists and the goblins there are in war. So what does your character look like? 
Did uh, I miss? Are you one of the the tribes or? Well, we're kind of old school in that in that way. Uh, we it's we gonna be it's like the Doom guy or something. Got like it. I Got mean, it. we we actually don't want to. We want the player to be the the one. The, yeah, the yeah, yeah, guy. exactly. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's oh like no. He's like yo. And it's not an easy game. It's it, not. It, it's it's made to be hard. Uh, and you figure out like how to dodge enemies and and survive, and uh, it's really rewarding when you survive. He's back. He's back to the church. Hi, uh, Alex, how are we on time? We have ten minutes. Awesome. And then we have a potential game that may not work. So we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> BP, nice. BPM, and yeah, that BPM. that script, that's a merchant. He sets up shop here, sometimes. Did you kill him? No, he's there. Oh, okay. He's, he's there. Oh, he's ready be. for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna test he's it. Like, I'm, ready. <laughs> I'm gonna test it. Uh huh. Press uh -huh. E to talk to him. Skirp. Script. Script. Yeah, oh, shotgun! But you you get money from from beating enemies and from chests and so forth. Uh, are those Uggs, yo? Are those yeah, Uggs? Those are, those we gotta are get those. Eggs. They're Iggs? <laughs> Wait, for real? Yeah. You got the bootleg Uggs up in that piece? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Script past those. I need. They, they got those down the street. The the bootleg Iggs. They're next to the hot the hot uh, bacon wrapped hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. <laughs> Eggs, dude. Yeah, it's eggs. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and you, you have you uh, gotta you gotta sell some eggs for real. Like that needs to be merch. That should be merch. Yeah. And we think it's really important, like you you put on one shoe at a time in our game. You have two slots for your <laughs> your shoes. It's that, not symbolic at all. No. So that that that's why he was selling one egg. That wasn't a pair of eggs. That was one egg. That's hilarious. So then do you have like a limp when you walk? Not, uh, not really. You, I mean, it still gives you the perks. Like okay. you can, you can, oh, okay, that's yeah, funny. frost damage for eggs, for example, because okay. they're warm. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. And the the game is single player, right? It's a single player. Okay. Yeah, correct. So what, what, if you find some some loot you don't need, you can sell it to Script or other merchants that spawn randomly. So these levels are handcrafted. But, but they spawn randomly. So we connect random chunks into complete levels. And that's how the game is formed. So every run feels different and should play different with random elements. Nice. But it's still, we take like level design seriously and want, want yeah, it to be a nice experience. So we don't yeah. want it to be completely random. And when is, when is the release? When do you hmm. think the release? I mean, you can give a roundabout time. I know how yeah, it is best, as a developer. It's best not to give a specific date if you don't yeah, want yeah. to. It's going to be next year. Okay. Next year. Okay, cool. Yeah. The internet will not be happy with you. Yeah. <laughs> these folks that like these folks are going to be angry if you give a, a wrong date. Yeah. So this, is, <laughs> this is an I can tell the guy with the mustache, he's coming after you. Yeah, he's going to be beating you down if, if you don't give him the right date. Oh, so this date. is the alpha, and we're going to be in bed at New Year's. And that's our, uh, right. that's what we aim for right now. To get a nice demo ready nice. for you guys. So we're aiming for a public demo sometime, and then a full release after that. Uh, uh. The feel is it just looks really good. Thank you. <laughs> I love that too. I mean, like you're cocking it back and everything. Yeah, we actually have, we started 3D printing these gun models for fun. Really? So I have a friend who does that. Uh, so, so I actually have this 3D printed over in our booth. You brought a gun in here? Oh, uh, it's, 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 it's obviously like. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just messing around. That's not something I should have joked about at all. Because it's not. <laughs> I'm glad no. I didn't say that. No, joke. so there's a, a fake uh, plastic. It's Representation of yeah, it's the gun. Obviously, in the game. Yeah, it obviously looks like it. It's game. very cartoony and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's gonna so how, make that. It, how close is he to the end? I'm. Uh, I just realized that that looked like it was giving progress. Was it giving right. progress? Right. So okay. It's, it's, 
six floors down, and then there's the boss. Uh, oh my god, there's the new dude. Is this? No, yeah, this is so not. these are the guys who, they kill goblins when they see them, or you. These oh. are the cultists. <laughs> oh my, he almost had it. <laughs> Thank you almost. so much for for uh, for jumping on board. Yeah. Playing. yeah. You, did a, you did a great job. A Andrew, job. What, did you, what did you think? That was fun. That was like they, a really yo, they turned game. the mic up for him to say this is fun. <laughs> They're not even doing me that favor. Yeah, it's uh, you. You answered correctly. That's how you get a prize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for playing. Thanks Andrew. for playing. Yeah. Um. So what's up now? What's up now? We have. Do you have more time for more playing, or? We 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 have a couple minutes, do, but uh. We got Tony right over there. Oh, Tony's right over here. Okay, Tony. Cool. So tell us about where to find the game. Um, so the game is on Steam. Um, you can wishlist it. You search for Sulfur on Steam. Or scan our QR code that's in our, if you're over here in LA. But if you're online, you can find it on Steam searching for Sulfur. Yeah, definitely at the, you have a question? Right now, it's you Wait, can the only question, wish list The it. question is, how much is it? Right. So <laughs> the game cannot be bought yet, but there's going to be a free demo eventually. So wish list the game, and then we'll see what the price is exactly going to be. It's gonna. He's being a, he's being an ambiguous game developer. So like, as a game developer, when you're trying to set everything up, it's not out yet. Sometimes you're trying to figure out what the price is going to be. We we'll figure it out, but it's gonna, not going to be. It's yeah. like it'd be less than half of a AAA game. It's gonna yeah. And definitely check it check it out over there. Again, we're at LA Comic Con, The Mix. We're doing this uh, just to show off the games. We got some awesome games up here. But there's 20 games up there. And also the developers are up there too. So if anyone is interested in actually becoming a game developer and knowing how the sausage is made, the developers are actually over there and on stage. Um, are there actually are there any other questions? Does anyone else have a, a question about sulfur or game development or anything like that? No. Other okay. yeah yeah one guy. Oh there. actually In okay. Corner. Wait come come up here real quick. My question is: Is it going to be on the PS Five? Like, if it goes successful? Eventually, yes. Okay. It's, it's PC first and then consoles. We aim for, for all consoles. But hopefully we get some support from, from the platforms to get that to happen. Thank you. Okay. So while we're still, do you want to play, sir? You want to jump up and play for a second? Go ahead. Just come, just come around the side. Come we'll have you play and, and, and safer. get your thoughts real quick. Right. So this is going to be interesting. We don't, we don't have full su controller support yet, but you're playing on the controller. So this is a good test. And so we'll get one death. We'll see what we'll see how far he can get. What's your name, sir? Elijah. My name is Elijah. Cool name. Well, Elijah's gonna just jump in here, see what happens. Yeah. He's just jumped on the controller quick. He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna try." What? He's he's pulling his sword out and everything. It's working. Yeah, I was gonna say like. That's wrong. Do I have to say where the sword is? It was on the right button. Pro gamer. Yeah, pro gamer. <laughs> He's like, why are you shoving this mic in my face, yo? <laughs> Who's this? Uh, that's, uh, talk to him. <laughs> you might have to switch. Oh, there you go. He's cute. So switch to the mouse to do this, because we don't have, it's, it's PC first. Oh no. Yes, it's a trader, but you don't have any money yet because you just you were just woke up. <laughs> so. Yeah, so you use W these instead. Yeah. It's gonna be more stable. 
So you can pick pick up the, the mushroom on E. And on F, you have the sword. And on tab, you have your inventory. There you go. So you can eat the mushroom when you get hurt. Uh, we right click. Does that kill you? No. Okay. It's just like I love the effects though. That's yeah. That's cool. so you you see you you get lesser vision, but if you get if you get like uh, uh, diving gear, you can actually see oh, better. Oh, nice! And okay, you can get really cool. you can put on diving fins, one at a time. And <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going in circles basically. <laughs> Let's see. Let's let's see what pops off. Oh, we got the baby. That's a baby, right? Yeah, you can keep shooting them, but it will cost you some ammo. But they might drop. Uh, they might drop like intestines or or like an eye or something. And you could use that. Yeah, to make cook or make like potions or stuff like that. So you eat that with right click. There you go. That's a red sop in Swedish. It's what? Red sop. Red sop? <laughs> it means I, I really <laughs> messed that one up. It means red mushroom in Swedish. Kind <laughs> okay. Of. Yeah. So sop are the most edible mushrooms in Europe. Oh, okay. So that's why it gives Not you free HP. Ones. Yeah. Are they magic ones? Or just like they're, they're, ones? There's magic ones too. Oh, okay. Eventually, definitely. Wait, in this? <laughs> sop, yeah. Exactly. That's that's a uh, rök swamp in Swedish, or that's a, that's a Norwegian band, or yeah, or or artist. Yeah. So rök swamp means uh, smoke mushroom. So the ones if you step on them, they, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I play Persona Five, and I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, but the Ubisoft games suck. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Mike, pull, pull Mike back, you know what I mean? Just kidding. <laughs> that's, our, that's our sponsor, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so I'm just playing. Uh... Oh, that was great having you here. <laughs> <laughs> dump, them, dump them overboard. No <laughs> stairs this time. <laughs> yeah, you can go out there. Well, we're independent, so... <laughs> <laughs> so if you insult us in any way, it doesn't hurt anybody but me. Yeah, we but... just wheel you off the stage <laughs> from the front. <laughs> Oh my god, we didn't see these dudes. Did they did they come back though? Did they come back? Uh only if there's a necromancer. Okay. okay. He's going to spawn them again. So you can you can take those mushrooms as that well. Is, oh, they're, they're all in sync. That's pretty that's pretty ill. Oh, an egg. So are they are they characters 2D? Yeah. Like there's they're they're 2D planes. Okay. Exactly. So they're all sprites. That's cool. But they're not really cool. Pixelated, obviously yeah, they're yeah. high def, but they're sprites. So we do the stylized thing, and we can we yeah, can make an enemy like in an afternoon with just like because it's simple graphically, and our artist is he's really fast. Yeah. So we can do a lot of content for this game pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, um, that's awesome. That's a really nice way to design a game. We can make stuff fast and try it out. So around how many enemies are there? Oh wow, there good must question. Be tons, yeah, a lot. So this is the first area of the caves, and the yeah. second area is a town area, and all these areas have unique enemies. There might be five or six unique enemies here. Yeah. And same for for the town, and then there's the sewers. After the sewers, there's a lower castle, upper castle. There's a forest. Wow. There's a desert. That's cool. That's so there, cool. there's a lot, a lot of, of areas a lot in this of game. Biomes, you know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. likes to say biomes. Yeah, it's it's different biomes. <laughs> For, certainly, we the, gotta we gotta figure out a different way. For, like, right, because of the that. lower so, castle as a biome. I don't know. We call them area. You're right, area. Okay, you're right. You're yeah. right. I'm, I'm being like. But biome is, is usually like in the Returnal, they call them biomes for they sure. They did. Okay. Yeah. That game was pretty dope. <laughs> you're lost. He's like, oh, I thought you said no, it isn't. <laughs> I was like, Returnal's dope. Oh, wow. No, it isn't. <laughs> Screw PlayStation. Yeah, it, like, wait, wait, you're wait. you're in a maze, <laughs> so so you need to figure out how to get out of the maze. I'm just gonna poke you so you you say quick quips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> quick. <laughs> so,
Yeah, we're if gonna. Just, if you just keep to the right all, all the way through, let's see where you end up. So you can actually get out of it. <laughs> there you go. This is always a trick to get out of a maze. Life advice. Yeah, so they make sacrifices and stuff. Bad guys. There you go. And those are explosive, the barrels there. Just gonna test it. Let's see him test it real quick. So that can be used in many ways. And you just got like a, oh, it's bread. That's good for many things. So you can put those, any of those on your guns. And you also got a snoot. Yeah, you decide. You can press two or scroll to, to switch guns. There you go. And both have, oh, that's, that's, that's sick. That's a revolver with 9mm ammo. This one? The other one. Snoop. So what's this piece on the side of this one? So this is... Uh, this, uh, both of these sights give give stats to your, okay. your guns. I got you. So you get a better... Less spread or or better critical hit um, increase and stuff like that. <laughs> he got shoved up real quick over a brick. Oh, you, it's it's the it's the ghost again. That's the ghost. <laughs> no, it's behind him. It's just like if if you when you look at it, it it goes away like in Mario, pretty much. Like it yeah. it doesn't. Oh, want to I see. Like a boot. Yeah. Yeah. Like boot. But if you turn it around when it's close enough to you, you can see it and you can shoot it. Um, but it will always like haunt you from behind. So we'll circle around and try to get you from behind. Typical, <laughs> typical ghost type shit. Yeah, it's typical ghost action that's going on here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's like, where is he? I think he's like, he's, <laughs> he's in a wall or something. Well, let's see, let's see. We got it. We we're gonna give it a minute. We're gonna give it a minute. There you go. All right, tell us, tell us where to where to find the game. We're gonna wrap it up. Yep, we so got you, another game coming up. So you can find Sulfur on Steam. Go wishlist it. Uh, if you're here on site, you can find us across from the Marines, over in the far end of West Hall. Um, and but wishlist on Steam. Search for Sulfur. Wishlist on Steam. That is Sulfur. Thank you so much for coming up. Thank you, Elijah. Go to the. Uh, Go to the mix booth, the merch area, and we'll get you a shirt or a hat. For sure. Whatever you whatever you want. You too. Just over, uh, you see the the LA Comic Con mix sign? Door across the street. Yeah, do you see that? The mix yeah. sign? Go over there, there's a merch booth, and we have like a bunch of mix shirts and, and hats. So and yeah. Go catch me over there, and I'll get you a shirt too. He's like, catch me over there, I wanna fight. <laughs> catch All me right. outside, how about that? <laughs> All right. All right, thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Let me get that mic real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, two mics, you know? All right, up next, we got this is the last game. We have an OG in the game for sure. You, let's get in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when tomorrow, tomorrow. Yes, yes, we we definitely will be. But not least. Yes. And and um, I have more than this, so tomorrow there'll be more. Yeah, yeah, Tony, Tony has a bunch of games. So let's jump down. You're going to be playing, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this will be fun. So we're going to slide over here. And we are with the magnificent Tony Barnes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so talk a little bit about your studio and and your game uh okay yeah first one so, yeah uh so i'm uh tony barnes uh, i've been making games for 40 years um uh surprise uh, 
And um, I used to do lots of AAA and all that fun stuff. Probably made a game that you played or that someone else, you know, someone like your father or somebody played. I don't know. And uh, so a few years ago, I started my own uh, independent studio, Retro Ninja. And um, so it's like uh, new games, but with like uh, retro DNA. So the DNA of this game is uh, Marvel Madness and like uh, Super Monkey Ball and other games that I call rollers. And um, this is like, you're a, uh, uh, it's like this bizarro universe where a Marvel with headphones can somehow be a DJ. And uh, this is like, you're going to this, um, you know, you're going to this uh, DJ like a festival, kind of like a Coachella kind of thing or something. And um, you're supposed to, you know, be having a DJ off, you know, spinning and all that fun stuff. And this is kind of the road to that. With all these little, these little guys are like your fans and everything. And they're totally into you. But uh, the guy that you're supposed to be going against, uh, DJ Get Busy, he, <laughs> he, just, he, he just can't deal. And so instead of even bothering to try and, uh, try and fight with you, he just decides to steal all of your, your um, you know, all your fans. And then it becomes very, you know, like save the princess or, you know, like save your fans. But um, yeah, this is like a physics-based uh, platformer. And uh, like I said, you know, it pays homage to Marvel Madness and Super Monkey Ball and a little bit other games that people probably haven't heard of like Crystal Castles or The Blob. It's like a big mishmash, all that. Got a little bit of Sonic and stuff going in. And it has uh, like, you know, everything kind of pulses to the beat. And it has this dynamic soundtrack uh, that's going on where it's like, um, it, it, it's for like 90s babies. Like, you know, people that grew up listening to, uh, they didn't know they were listening to acid jazz or, or garage music or, or like, uh, you know, funk and all that kind of fun stuff. You just, you know, that was just the soundtracks that we had for Streets of Rage or, or Sonic or whatever. But that's kind of the, the vibe that's going on in here. And yeah, every everything, you know, there's just all kinds of interactive stuff everywhere. And this is the first level right here. Oh yeah. And this is okay. this is like to to warm you up and everything like that. Um, and uh, one of the other, you know, like big things is that um, it's it's really big for like the speedrunning community. Um, so as you as you kind of fumble through and figure out how to play and all that fun stuff, you know, you have fun, you get through the levels, but then you start getting better and better, like with any game. But in this game, you can go back to levels that you were on before and then find out that you get rewarded for having, you know, all the skills now. So like, I, I, I'm watching you play and I'm like thinking to myself, man, I could have cut an entire minute out of this run. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to be clown the whole time, Alex, <laughs> as you're playing the game over your shoulder. Right. Judgment. <laughs> <laughs> is that DJ Get Busy that right is, there? That is DJ Get Busy. Um, we can't he really looks actually kind of dope. I like I like DJ Get Busy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not mad at him at all. No, I know. Like like uh, under under different circumstances, he might even be your friend or and everything. But so like, he just he he's just, a lovable villain. You know? Yeah. He he's um. You know, and again, kind of playing into the the homage of the 90s and stuff. He's got a little bit of a Dr. Robotnik uh, kind he, of vibe going on. He does have on. that vibe, yeah. yeah. For sure. Oh, nice. The transition to the SIG. Uh, see, my, one of my favorite things is if you actually got, like, the, you know, there's all kinds of little things you can get. You collect everything. You save all what we call the Lolos. When you get the secrets, which you didn't get any of that, but that's okay. Uh, so they're cook <laughs> shade. <laughs> so. Oh no, it's it's fine. Uh, hit right. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. All right, let's get let's get this started. Let's get started. You know so like, um, music vibe. So like all of the all of the levels are named um, different. You know, from different songs that I personally like. You know, um, so. Uh, like, let's get it started. Is um, if I remember correctly, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna is say Black Eyed Peas. I want to hear the music. I don't know if if, if folks yeah, are hearing us back there. Can we can we bump the music in here for a little bit for this last game? Oh my lord! They, they're they're pumping it a little oh, bit. They're yeah. pumping it a little bit. 
because this whole game is a music game. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Oh, and like, uh, so yeah, this is also like at Retro Ninja, um, one of these first few games I've made, I wanted to do them solo uh, to kind of get back to my roots because that's how I started uh, back in the 80s. Just make it, you know, I just would wake up and make a game. So that's kind of how, how this goes. So this is all, this is all me, music and sound effects. So you did the music. You did the music, the code, the levels, the, if you see it, everything except for um, the, the like 2D logo stuff. Um, that was a buddy of mine because I didn't really have time and I wanted to get this done. And I said, hey, uh, you know, you have skills. Uh, can you make for me a logo? And here's the vibe. And he did such a great job that I'm like, all right, uh, instead of it just being temp, you know, I'll leave it in. That's cool. Uh, but otherwise, this is, this is, you know, me, myself, and I over the course of about seven months. Um, but I'm kind, of a, I'm kind of a nut, so I was actually working on other games at the same time. Oh, you might want to. <laughs> you got blasted up real quick. So what, I'm, I'm just curious, so what did you make the music in? What, uh, what uh, programs and stuff? Oh, it's, it's, it's the classic, um, FL Studio. And then um, there's another program called Asset. So oh, I, got, I remember, yo, I remember Asset back, yeah. Right, so, so I'll, 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 like, because the music is um, procedural, I'll do riffs and grooves and everything in FL. And then um, I'll spit them out as stems and then take them and arrange them in Asset, which is really good for arranging. Um, Wait, so how, how is the music procedural in the game? Uh, well, see, like, um, depending upon what you're doing, other instruments will come in and yeah. fade out. Oh, I see. I understand. Yeah. So, like, yeah, because he's kind of retreading his steps and, you know, not, he's doing, he's doing okay. Um, the music kind of, kind of mellowed out. Oh, but, if you, but you're, you're really blasting through. It, yeah, it, you're, it, it intensifies. Going, yeah, okay. and same with, like, the, the little guys, your fans, the Lolos. Um, they have a whole like AI thing about them, so they know if you're doing good, um, they'll they'll cheer for you and everything. And if you do something crazy in front of them, they'll be like squealing and all this. And um, if you die, they'll go like, "Oh no!" and all this. And um, that's my uh, that's my three-year-old grandson. Whoa, what? Wait, what <laughs> was this? They got locusts on here. <laughs> oh, something flew by. Um, but yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my grandson. Security was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I know, I'm I'm actually old enough to have a grandson, but um, you know, your grandson did the voices for the little guys. Really? Okay. Yeah, you can kind of barely hear them, but um, babies and kids, you know, as they're as they're just learning how to talk, they have a certain sound to, that just is joyous. And it's, yeah. and it's not something that you can emulate. And I mean, like you have to be like a super top voice actor to really get that 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 vibe, right? Alex so, knows all about that. He, he does voice. No, he hires oh. <laughs> kids for shows and stuff. Well, look at that. <laughs> it's it's very different. It's right, right. I so. So I, I really just wanted my grandson to, to like vibe. So just like sat him down with the game and let him play and recorded him for like a half an hour. Yep. And then, <laughs> and then I just topped it up. And then, like I said, I have like a whole AI algorithm that's like uh, sitting there monitoring what you're doing. And then- Oh wait, it, really? Did you develop that? Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so, the, so these little guys know if you're doing right or you're doing wrong and they will um, make little little sounds appropriately and jump, you know, like, see, he's all happy. He's all happy because oh, nice. he thinks, you know, you're not lame right now, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I wanted to make something fun and happy. Like, a lot of stuff I do, um, you know, when I was making AAA games, I was doing a lot of kind of 
grim dark stuff or or slightly dark stuff like you know i worked on uh, medal of honor uh legacy of Cain. um uh what else you know new world uh yep um i worked on uh strider which isn't super dark it's it's more in the vein like yeah but you know i worked on a lot of stuff that um ew. Mike in my eye, son. <laughs> Back button or start, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to do something a little happy. And then um, my mother's favorite game uh, was Marvel Madness back in the day. And uh, like I was sitting there working on something else and she passed away. And I just wanted to like, you know, do something. I wanted to you know, pay homage. So I wanted to like pull out of that darkness. And that's why this is like bright and happier and bouncier. And, um, and it's really like an homage to my mom too. That's amazing. Give me some, give me some nice. Well, first thing you, you, the first thing you just did was actually, um, on the way to a really good, um, like, uh, you know, time, time cutting, like speed running kind of thing. Cause being down here in the level is cool. It gives you an idea of how, how it goes, but when you really, really know how it goes, you, you end up skipping like so much of the level. Yeah, no, you, you're doing fine, fine, you know. How do I get through that again? We... You gotta be the same color. Oh, so how do I switch color? The, the button you keep pressing that <laughs> keeps switching okay. colors. Cool. Chill. Wait, did I die right there? Yeah. Did I fall off? Oh. I just, I just decided in that little nook to save you the trouble of, of letting you know that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you get hurt from those. Okay, so, so yeah. The color to be... Right. So. Okay, that wasn't good. Yeah. All right. Don't yeah. want to hit the thing. Match the color. Want to get through the thing. Match the color. And there's a. Is there a sprint? Like a, no, be, so right because it's all physics based. You you over time learn how to speed up and slow down and do crazy things. Like um, I've seen people who will wall run. There is technically no wall run coded into this game, but they somehow figured out how to jump onto a wall. Oh. <laughs> You know, it's funny, you can't really hear it, but um, when you die, it makes this chicken sound. Um, really? Yeah, it goes, -ah! which I put in as a temporary thing. Okay, so I don't really even need that then. Uh, I, put in the, I put in the chicken thing as kind of a temporary thing, and everybody who played it said, oh, you got to leave that in there, because <laughs> it just kind of goes with the whole vibe. This is, I was looking at you play, and I was like, come on, man, I can do, this. I can do way better than Alex. <laughs> Not the case, you know what I'm saying? That's no. I just want to be better than you. Know? <laughs> so, the, so, okay. You don't. You don't. So, um, if you hadn't jumped into this level, which is like the, which is like the third level, you would know by now that get near the cage, right, double jump. There you go. Okay, I got Do I gotta touch him? Nah. I wanna touch him. No, you can. <laughs> he might get a little upset. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, yeah. Now I've done that. Oh. <laughs> not perfect. Mm -hmm. This, it feels really good, though. I, I mean, I love Marble Madness back in the day, too. That game is phenomenal. So I gotta find a little new, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that's yellow. Oh, and I just saw him, and I didn't do a damn thing. Yeah, jump, jump. You don't have to get that close. No, that's the thing. Huh? Jump, jump on the ball. <laughs> I'm so cautious. Right. No, no, no. I understand. You just started. But once you actually get the hang of it, as a matter of fact, as a matter of my way, as a matter of fact, let me, let me, let me show you something. Oh One second. Oh, he's like, hold the mic. I thought you were going to go ahead and do it without the mic. I mean, with the mic in your hand, one-handed. <laughs> He's breaking all rules. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't do it as well as I could. 
didn't do it as well as I could because I, I should have skipped even more, but you get the hang, you get the idea right. I want to yeah. see you just speed through this, like have, I mean not speed through it, but like just I want to see the the. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll show you. Um, this thing on? I'll, I'll show you something really crafty. Watch this. Okay. Uh, Craft it up, you know. So you went down and around and all the sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's cutting corners. So you have a lock on attack. Is that like Sonic, like basically, right? Exactly. It's, it's almost exactly like Sonic. Yeah, it's almost exactly like okay. Sonic. Um, nice little homing attack. Um, Part, part of it is um, I was I was sitting there. Um, one of the things while while making games, I think that a lot of game makers um, either don't spend enough time watching other people play their game, or at, or at the very least, watch themselves play the game. So a lot of times, what I'll what I'll do is I'll um, I'll just record myself playing the game and I'll sit there and watch it and I'll, I'll observe things that are broken or could be better or whatever, right? And I was watching the game and I was like, something's missing. It needs like some uh, And um, that was before I actually put in the homing attack. And yeah, so, yep. The double jump? Yeah. So, um, Oh yeah, you weren't paying attention. Yeah, so find the cages, bust out, you know, get your little Lolo friends going. Lolo, Lolo. Lolos. Yeah, I mean, like, um, like I said, I, I, I've worked on a bunch of AAA stuff, and that's stuff that you work on with teams. And I love teams, you know. Uh, 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 as Retro Ninja, I'll, I'll, I'll still work with teams. Um, but sometimes I just want to, I just want to do my own thing, right? Um, and, and and part of it's like because I can from where I came from I you know I started with pixels and and really just um, wanted to learn how to move the pixels right because I wanted to be an animator um, and so it was faster to move pixels than it was to actually sit there and hand animate stuff um, that was back in the 8-bit days so when it when it comes to stuff like this it <laughs> Going I know. <laughs> when, when it when it comes to stuff like this, it, it's um, it's fun for me to kind of have a, a singular expression. Like, um, you know, one of one of my heroes is, uh, is Prince, right? And he he has bands. He works with people. Why is this chugging? Um, but like. Um, you know, a lot of his stuff is just solo joints. And I don't know if he does it or he did it, you know, to prove to people that he could do, you know, he could play all the instruments or if he just said, I have this in me and I have to get it out right now. And there's no band around, so I'm just gonna record the whole thing. I, I, I suspect a lot of it is, is that. And that's kind of how I am with, uh, you know, the game making. I have plenty of, of projects and ideas that require teams, trust me. And I've worked, in, I've worked in teams up to, you know, hundreds. And then there's stuff that's like this, that's just like, you know, this is just my solo mixtape, so. <laughs> Yeah, four and a half. I mean, so so BPM is almost done. I mean, it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm taking lots of notes watching people. 
So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be making some adjustments to it and all that fun stuff. Um, and I got to tune like a boss fight and whatnot. Um, but this will be out. It, there's a Steam page for every, anybody that, that cares. Uh, they can go to you know, Steam and look for BPM Boy. Um, or you can go to RetroNinja.com, find out about me, find out about the uh, millions of other games and all that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, like, I have a lot of ideas that wouldn't make sense for a AAA uh, studio, you know, when I was working for them. There's no way, no matter how, no matter how much money, polish, and everything we would have thrown at this, there's no way it would have gotten greenlit in, in a um, big studio. And I, so I have all these ideas that I, you know, have been wanting to make over the years um, that I couldn't because I went from independent to AAA and then uh, now back to independent. So I'm making those arcade, arcadey kind of fun solo expressions, you know. Is it really chugging? AAA space, Woo. and there's they seem so similar nowadays from like the last thing that came out. So, yeah, yeah I mean, um, no hate on my my AAA peers. Um, <laughs> I, I completely understand it. If yeah. somebody's if somebody's going to be outlaying outlaying you know billions of dollars, then um, you got to be safe. You got to make sure that it is going to make back those hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Um, for me, as a solo-ish developer, you know, like I said, I, I have other stuff that I'm, you know, going to be working on that has a team. But as a solo developer, uh, even though I live in Southern Cal, my burn rate is high for, you know, for America. But it's not high for because I don't, I don't have like 20 people, you know, yeah, yeah. chomping at, at my heels. So we're gonna try this last one. Oh, this is gonna be fun. No, we're, gonna, we're gonna wrap this one up. This yeah. Is tough. It's tough. Uh, just looking at your past performance, it might be. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's what I'm yeah, doing. get him, get him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't have to sell like millions of these to, yeah. to, to do all right, you know. Um, I'm just gonna jump over. That. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you gave me the tools. Oh, you gave me the tools. So. Oh, you almost had jump. that. Oh. What you done? Oh, I thought that was a ground. Uh. <laughs> All right, okay. I said you gave me the tools, but no. I, I, I'm going to just play it safe. So. You could have, but... I'm not that dope yet. Not yet, but you might want to... Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Hit it. Dump <laughs> This one, the plug in the in the laptop. Oh, wow. the, uh, uh, the frame rate is definitely gonna fumble that through. <laughs> Sometimes. So, so we can get this game on Steam or not yet? Uh, no. Um, next month it'll be out on Steam. Um, it's it's awesome on the Steam Deck, by the way. Oh. Oh. Okay. You should know that. Um, but yeah, it'll be on Steam, so you can get on your you know whatever your PC. Oddly enough, it runs on the Mac. Um, Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, by accident. Um, shortly after that, well, that all depends on on Nintendo, but it'll be on Switch after that. Um, oh, right man. now, it's on it, it's on a machine that nobody even knows exists called the Atari VCS. Um, there's a version of this, so that's how I know that like um, there's a really robust speed run community. The the peep the yeah there. There, there are some people that are just mad about this. Yeah, um, Alex has three VCSs. He has one in each. Wow. That's a, uh, that's a, uh, <laughs> somebody's got it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Not he's bad. Got, he's got one in his bathroom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony Barnes. Thank you so much for joining us. Now we got, I got two mics in my face. Yeah. Uh, BPM boy, three mics. This it's been great. 
Um, go check out all the games at the Mix booth. We have 20 indie games. They're all over there. The developers are there. Uh, thanks for supporting us. Thank uh, the LACC, Alex. And again, I'm Justin from the Mix, the Media Indie Exchange. We help support indie game developers uh, through um, visibility, discoverability, investment, uh, publishing, all of those things. And we definitely want to keep helping and working with the culture of developers. Thank you so much. Thanks. Peace.